In this video we are working on Tesla TV, not the Tesla that uh, owns Elon Musk, it's a Tesla Chinese company that produces TVs. And the customer just bought it a few months ago and already broke the antenna connector. So we have to take the main board out, remove the RF tuner model and solder this back, back in there. So it makes good physical connection and good electrical connection. Here you can see what he did. So firstly, let's disconnect all the cables and then remove the one screw that holds the main board right there. And look at this. This one got disconnected straight out of the factory like they knew something like this is going to happen or probably wanted to get more money by servicing uh, servicing the Wi-Fi wi antenna. Firstly, le let's remove the screw that holds the board. It's only one screw holding it in after the cover is removed. Now let's do the rest by hand. Okay. Now we have to disconnect the backlight. The LVDS cable wife antenna is already disconnected and there were two connections that went to the infrared receiver and speakers. So let's first disconnect this. Oh, what the fuck? This is loose as hell. Quality. Press the tab and pull. Here we have to remove the Let's first pop the black tab upwards and then remove the cable, which is quite stuck inside. Let's be gentle not to break it. It's quite hard so while I'm record recording with one hand. I'll do this off camera so I do not damage something. Okay, after that is done, we can remove the bottom part of the cable. There are two tabs that you press and wiggle it out. And let's set a cable aside. Now the board should be, should be free to lift up, but it's still not. Let's check if there are any screws left. Does not look like. Let's see. There must be one screw hidden. I just can't see it where it is. Or maybe it's double-sided sticky tape, I'm not sure. No force is needed to remove this at as first, as second, double check, no screws, there's only one tab. So we, we should pull the board like this and then lift it up. Yeah, that's free. Now let's put it aside so I can make a room to work on it. Now that we have the board out of the TV, we have to remove the left bracket that hold the input-output shield. There is only one plastic tab that has to be unclipped in order to remove it. So let's try to do it one-handed, like this, and pull it out. Okay, and here we have the thermal pad that conducts the heat away from the main switching transistor for the power supply. So let's try not to get that dirty. I'll, I will switch the board around and put some uh, spacers around here to lift it up. So this side does not touch anything. So pieces of electrical tapes, basically all wall electrical tapes are my spacers for today. So let's get a screwdriver and pop this shield up. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, six steps that have to be plunged out to be removed. Here you can see one. The other two, same on the other side, two and one. So I have to do this off camera again because I have no free hands. So here is the shield removed, but I have no luck today. I have to desolder the wall can. 
So this is going to take some time. I will try to position the phone to record the time lapse. Well, this took about 45 minutes to remove with 30 watt soldering iron. The shield is removed. Now I have to heat up the sh shield and put this connector inside here and solder it. And that's going to take another 45 minutes. Here is it, the board after the soldering. It's quite a mess. And here is the RF input end. Now I have to heat up this uh, metal shield and not to overheat it because there is plastic bushing pushing inside the screw connector. So I will try to use this flame right there and just add a little bit of solder. Now after the shield has been repaired and the connector has been soldered to the shield, we have to solder the shield back to the board and be really careful with this thin wire, with this thin wire because it's soldered on the other end so I have to do it at really low temperature and quick so it does not desolder on the other side. So let's first solder this in case I fail with this I don't have to undo all the ground connections again. Okay, so that's done. Now let's check the connection. If there are any shorts or something, let's get the continuity tester. Okay, so this is the ground. That's okay, and there are no shorts with the main hot signal. So that's okay, now I can cut this off. And let's do all the ground connections. This took a really little time compared to the desoldering. The, in start I had to heat up the ground plane a little bit so it could take solder on the other side. But it ended up, it ended up really well. Now all that's left is to clip the shield and clear this up. This is the board after clearing. I could not get some, some stuff from the board but it's clean enough not to cause interference I hope because this is at really high frequencies. On the other side, it's quite clean. Nothing got on the other side, so maybe my fingerprints on few places and that's it. I'll clean this also.
so there are no fingerprints anywhere. And let's assemble the TV. I will skip that part and turn it on to see if it works. So the customer forgot to give me the remote control. It says it says no signal. And let's go with makeshift antenna. Multimeter probe. And let's see. It works. The USB works, so basically the whole TV works. So yeah, the connector is fixed. Now let's turn off the TV with my TV begone. And now I want to show you this. Uh, this is TV begone that I made, which is failed one. I have a video talking about everything for new version and everything else. I just wanted to show you how it works. It's in sleep mode right now. You can turn it on here and press the button and just wait. You don't even have to point it at the TV, it still turns, turns it off. Every time an LED flash, flashes, one, TV, uh, one brand of TV has been turned off. And it has around 85 meters of range with over 100 different TV brands. I added around 10 more compared to the original uh, Adafruit one. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and bye.